Hey guys, this is Miss Jacobson, and I'm here today to teach you about plurals, possessives, and plural possessives. I know that sounds like a lot of fancy teacher speak, but I promise this is actually all stuff you already know. We're just reviewing it. You started learning this in like first grade, so it actually should be pretty easy. So our lesson goal is we are going to be able to correctly determine when to add an S, an apostrophe S, or an S apostrophe to the end of a word. Okay, so let's get into some definitions. A plural word. If something is plural, it means that there's more than one person, more than one place, or more than one thing. It doesn't own anything. There's just more than one of them. In our general rule of thumb, not all the time because English is weird, but most of the time, in order to make a plural word, we add an S or an ES. So, for example, one cat becomes many cats. We add an S to the end of cat to show that there's more than one cat. Although, God help the person in that gift because I don't know how many cats there are there. That's a lot. A possessive word is when just one person, place, or thing owns something else. So if I say it's the possessive form, that means there's one person who owns something or one animal who owns something. And the rule is in order to make a possessive word, we add an apostrophe S. So not just the S this time. We have to have an apostrophe S. So for example, one cat, the cat apostrophe S cat's bowl. If one cat owns that bowl, which clearly he does, you cannot fit another cat inside that bowl, I don't think, the cat apostrophe S bowl. And then we have plural possessive words. Plural possessives are when more than one person, place, or thing owns something else. So in order to make a plural possessive word, we add an S, but then we put the apostrophe after it. So if there's multiple cats who own those food bowls, there are five cats in that GIF. They all share, they own the food bowls together. Then you put an S on the word to show that it's plural, and you put an apostrophe after the S to show us that more than one cat owns those food bowls. Okay, so here are the rules one more time. A plural just means that it's more than one of them. So you add S or ES to the end of most words. The birds, the buses, those are plural because there's more than one bird, there's more than one bus. A possessive is when one thing owns something and you add an apostrophe S to the end. For example, Miss Shaw's book. Shaw apostrophe S because Miss Shaw owns the book. A plural possessive is when there's more than one of something and they all own something. So you add an S apostrophe or an ES apostrophe to the end. For example, the classes apostrophe door decorations. Classes is plural because it ends in the ES. There's more than one class who decorated their door for the competition. And then you add an apostrophe after the S. And again, this thing right here the little comma in the sky is called an apostrophe. So here's what you're going to do. Find the plurals and possessive notes page in OneNote. We're going to add words to each column based on what kind of word it is. This is going to be your notes for future assignments, so make sure that you're filling this out with the video and that you don't lose this. Pause the video if you need more time to find it. So let's look. We have three words. Mrs. Henson's, teachers, and authors. It is your job to decide which words to write down under plural, which words to write under possessive, and which words to write under plural possessive. Pause the video if you need time to think. You're going to use the text box tool or the drawing tool to write these in. And then I'm going to hesitate for about 10 seconds so that I give people time to pause the video, and then I'm going to show you the correct answers. Okay, so let's see. Mrs. Henson's is a possessive word. There's one Mrs. Henson. She gets an apostrophe S, so that means she owns something. Teachers is a plural possessive word. 
the apostrophe is after the S, so there's more than one teacher and they all own something. Authors is plural. There's no apostrophe, they don't own anything, but there's more than one author. Let's try the next set of words. Make sure to fix these, so pause your video if you need to. Fix these in your OneNote because you're going to be able to use this page as what notes later. Okay, so we have plural words, possessive words, and plural possessive words. Pause this video. I'm going to give you 10 seconds to do that, and then we're going to go over which one should be in which column. Okay, so lap, uh, cell phones, okay, we went out of order there. Cell phones, it's plural, doesn't have an apostrophe, but there's more than one cell phone, so it is plural. Laptops, there's one laptop, so you have one laptop, and the laptop owns something. So if I say you broke the laptop's screen, there's one laptop, apostrophe S, because the laptop owns its own screen, and you broke it. Don't do that. And then we have explorers. With explorers, the apostrophe comes after the S, so there's, it's plural possessive. There's more than one explorer, and they all own something. Maybe they all own a campsite. Okay, if you're ready, find, uh, find the practice assignment in Canvas.